Hi guys, we're back at the team's factory in Brackley. There's lots going on inside, so let's not waste any time. It's been three weeks since the British Grand Prix, which means everyone at the factory is now gearing up for the next race. We're going to take you behind the scenes to show you just how busy the team is ahead of the Hungarian Grand Prix. Nico and Lewis may be responsible for what happens on track, but I want to know, and I know you do too, how the unsung heroes of Formula One prepare the cars for a Grand Prix. I spoke to the team's chief race engineer to find out what lies ahead for the Hungara ring. It's a difficult track because there's a lot of corners, very short straights, but it's unusual in how many of them are interconnected, so getting out of one corner determines how well you get into the next. So for the drivers, they're, they're very busy all the time. Um, it's difficult for cooling, it's difficult on the brakes, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of stopping the car and you haven't got the big long uh, straights to cool it down and it's pretty aggressive on the tyres just because they don't have a lot of uh, time to sort of recover. Things we'll do to adapt the car to the track are, well it's a maximum downforce circuit so we, we put all the wing that we have uh, on the car available uh, and again that's linked to the fact the straights are short so you make up all the time in the corners. Um, it's one way you might run the car a bit softer there's a lot of low speed content there, so low and mid speed corners, and you can get maximum uh, mechanical grip that way. And then also it's pretty hard on the rear tyres, so you're doing quite a few things to try and look after those and maybe move more of the work to the front of the car. It's nearly always either hot there or it's wet. Um, and at the moment it's looking pretty hot, so uh, 31, 34 degrees, but there's a, there's a chance of thunderstorms and that for us is a bit of a concern because it's very unpredictable. So whether we get rain in qualifying or, or rain in the race, we'll, we'll wait and see. But if it does come, it's probably going to be heavy. If you've been paying attention to our channel, you'll have seen various Mercedes team members talking about their favourite sounds with Bose. From paint guns to engine starts. We've seen some cool stuff. I thought I'd chime in with one of my favourite sounds at the factory. Let's go. This is the best sound, the sound of teamwork and everyone working together to get our favourite cars out on the track. So, what's your favourite sound? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks so much for all your comments, guys. It's clear you want to see more from the people inside the team. So send in your questions and we'll try to get as many of them answered as we can for you. We hope you enjoyed today's show. Let us know what you thought and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos. See you next week.